Greetings everyone, Sarah here, your NC Notary Newbie with a document to share. Now, this would not be a newbie group if we wasn't sharing information to help us out. So, here is one of the documents that I have been receiving quite frequently lately. And it's a homeowner benefit agreement. And what realty companies are doing now is actually securing listings in advance they will reach out to homeowners see if they would like to uh, have a listing agent for whenever they do decide to list and they will pay them in advance um, depending on their property value so here this is a 10 page document you will be notarizing two pages and collect two initials and i'll be more than happy to go through it with you now, when you're printing this homeowner benefit agreement, you print two, one for you and one for the homeowner. When you arrive to the homeowner's location, you really want to make sure that their location is correct and you want to confirm that with them. You also want to make sure that their name is correct because you'll see that here as well because they will have to sign the way that their name is actually printed. Most importantly, you want to make sure that the promotion fee is correct prior to receiving this assignment the homeowner and the agent has already agreed to a number you just want to make sure that they confirm that that number is correct if it is not call the agent and the agent will give you information okay if any information isn't correct call the agent the agent should be on speed dial Okay, so on page two, this is just speaking about early termination and owner listing period. Again, the homeowner can go through that. I never rushed them through anything. Page three, this is where you will collect your first initial. Again, the homeowner, you want to make, you want to make sure the homeowner name, email address, and address is correct. And you will have them initial under page six. I mean, under number six. On page four, that's where you'll collect your second initial right here. And you also want to make sure that the homeowner selects that they do not have an interest or intention to market, sell, or list the property. So you want to make sure that they select that and that they initial. On page five, it's just a continuation of page four. Page six is where you're going to do your first notarization. Here you will have the homeowner sign their name as it is written here, because it'll already be typed, and you will have them date. You as the notary, whichever county that you're located in, that's what goes here. Your name will go here as the notary public, and this line will be the homeowner's name. You will date, you will sign, you will print your name, you will print your commission expiration date, and you will stamp. You will not do anything at the bottom here. On page seven, it's just an exhibit B. It's basically a blank page. On page eight, again, you just want to ensure that the homeowner confirms that all of this information is correct. And on page nine, you're going to do the same as you did on page six, which is have the homeowner sign their name at the top as it is written here and date. You as the notary will put the county that you notarized in. You will put your name here as the notary public and the homeowner name will go here. You will date, you will sign, you will print your name and your commission expiration date and stamp. You will not do anything here at the bottom because that is not for you. Exhibit C, and what is the most important, is the payment authorization agreement. Homeowners have an option to receive their payment via Zelle, e-check, mail check, or ACH transfer. Whichever they choose, please make sure that they fill out the information correctly. Please ensure that they sign they print and date once you're done you can go ahead and give them their copy go back to your office do a scan back and it is complete 
easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, this is Sarah, your NC Notary Newbie. Feel free to join my Facebook group. Uh, you can actually like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be uploading more documents as they come, but this is one of the documents that is really easy for us newbie notaries, and we can definitely get our feet wet uh, just by doing these. They're $45 jobs, give or take, plus, tra plus uh, tr uh, travel. So um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sharing more information. And thanks again for watching the NC Notary Newbie Network.